Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Centangle Teacher, and this is today's tangle. It's called Seifa, and it's by Sonan Gupia, CZT 36, and um, we're going to try one that's a little less busy as these. I taught these in my class, and we had a lot of fun putting... Um, fragments inside of each one of these but I'm going to take a five tile and I'm going to put a border I mean a dot and a border and then I'm going to um, I think I'm going to leave it like this I think I'm going to do um, this tangle Seifa on uh, on the borders and I'm going to try to do it so that they're a little bigger than normal. So I'm going to start here at the corner and I'm going to do a little orb. So just one little orb in the corner and then I'm going to draw a line that comes up. It's kind of an arch and then tapers down on the line. And Then I'm going to do another one and I'm going to have it taper up quite a bit because I want these tangles to be a little bit bigger. So I have two lines coming off and the step outs were a little bit harder for me to get the next step. So I found that if I rotated my tangle going, I drew it going this direction and then I'm going to rotate it for my next step and it's just like um, a little scallop. Then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do a little scallop. I want my tangle to be very large. So, and I come down in there and there is my tangle. And now I'm going to put one more. I'm going to just do it as a fat, fat border. So we'll do it again and again. Rotate my tile, do a little scallop, and come down in. So I want more space inside of here to tangle. And they can be smaller. I'm going to make this one end on the, kind of on the end of the line. I didn't make it much smaller, but um, there we have three that we're just putting along the, this bottom line. And now we can go in and embellish these. And that was what was fun, is I like to aura, so I am going to aura this one. And then I'm going to come inside of here and put my one of my favorite tangles. And one of the tangles that I taught <coughs> yesterday, <coughs> excuse me, is Betweed. So I'm going to put Betweed in here. And if you've never done Betweed, it's a extremely fun fill-in tangle. It can go about anywhere. And the lines just come from the side and it goes about two thirds over and then a little bit of weight. I think that this betweed in here gives my tangle um, kind of a, I don't know, an, a more organic look, maybe some kind of uh, folded leaf or a, some kind of a bug. But, oops. 
just spins around on this mat. And I like to put a little weight so I come up and touch and then I draw a kind of a square piece at you know where it touches so I have a little weight in there. And there we have bead tweed. And I could put another bead tweed in this one because they're joined together. I kind of like that. And there we have another little bead tweed in there. And um, another one of my favorites is just a round, it's kind of like a little circle like, maybe even um, a crescent moon. But then it's going to, I'm going to put some auras over it. Then I'm going to do another one in this corner and aura and I'm just going to alternate corners so that I can get this little design in here and I like to use some of my favorite um, tangles and, and make them into smaller little fragments of tangles. So if you have the primer book, you can look in and find the fragment, tangle fragments. We had a really fun time at our class yesterday uh, taking different fragments and putting them inside of this tangle. And you can see I'm just alternating back and forth. So I asked the class, give me some of your favorite tangles, your favorite fill-in tangles or your fragment tangles. And so they would call out their favorites and I would tangle those in. If I could remember how, sometimes they had to show me a picture of the tangle because I didn't know the name so sometimes I can't remember the names of tangles if you watch very much my channels you realize that but any any fragment of a tangle can go inside of here and I did not aura this one but I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna aura the outside of that because I I think it looks good now another one that complements this one is just I'm going to start at the top is just a square it off and then straight lines and then another on a diagonal because we're just going to alternate back and forth and sometimes I'll do two lines Sometimes I'll do three. It all depends, you know, on, on my mood, on how I'm feeling at the time. But you can see how this is a great complement to the one that is round. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish aura in. We discussed if that was a word. Aura in. I think I'm going to aura around 
around my little um, orb that I put there and then color that in. So there we have um, another one. And then another favorite that we talked about was just some stripey. Oh, one of them said she loves, yeah, we'll, we'll do striping because um, I love striping and you can do straight striping. where your stripes are perfectly straight or I'm going to I'll finish that but I'm going to come down or you can do some that are curved and I really like the curved ones it gives the whole thing a little rounded look. But one thing about um, striping, you don't have to always go the same direction. We can kick this up and do them going different directions so you get a little different look. I'm going to put one right there too kind of nestles into that going back I'm jumping back and forth on those I'm not doing hollybaw, just striping. If this was hollybaw, it would go all the way down and underneath maybe. But no, I'm just just putting some stripes going in at at different angles. But you can see how um, much interest just a little stripe can give to, to a tangle to fill it in. It gets quite, quite busy. I have five tiles now in four different colors, white, black, brown, and gray. And so we're, now I'm just going to come and finish doing my striping. This tangle, the Seifa, is can be done in, um, you know, in a line, as um, in a circle. I did it in a in a circle here, where they just came out from the center. I did it as a border here, and here I just did it randomly, and I had fun with it. So if we wanted to add some randomly, we could, but. I'm not sure what I want to do here, but I'm going to come back and we're going to shade it and we'll just see what happens. Okay, I'm going to shade the betweed and I'm going to shade along the outside edge of the tank.
and I think I'm going to do that on all of them. We'll see same shading on every one of these. Just taking my graphite pencil and laying it kind of on its side and adding a little graphite to that outside edge. We're going to blend it here in a minute. And I just noticed I didn't aura this, this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and aura it. Now I've got it or ordered so it's all together. Now I'm going to take my shading stump and I'm just going to blend that. I just want it to blend out from the edge, not all the way to the center. Just softening that line with my shading stump laying on its side. So I, I just use this edge of it. If I stand it up on its end, it tends to kind of collapse a little bit. But you can see how that shading really perks it up and I get in the mood for a little mocha or mocha. So I'm just going to put a little mocha and it's going to holly bar. So, and one thing about mocha is it, it can go just anywhere wild. Just as wild as you want it to be. I always like to make sure that I um, holly bar if it comes up under so that it goes under that one before it and I kind of control where that where that mooka is going But you can see how fun, ooh, how fun we have with a little mooka. I'm going to put one over here to kind of balance this out. My jump, my hand jumped just a little bit, but we can, you know, it's it's a fun tangle. So here we have Seifa Betweed Crescent Moon Round, Crescent Moon Straight, and um, Striping and Mooka. And um, we have a fun tangle. I think this needs a little bit of drama up here. So I'm going to take a little Mooka. And I'm just going to give her just a little drama 
in some of her um, tentacles. And there we have our lesson for today. And I am so sorry that it's Wednesday and not Tuesday. Um, my life has gotten a little hectic. And um, so I, my goal is to make sure I have a video at least once a week until the hecticness levels out. Thanks again for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. And new videos weekly.